Welcome back. We have uh, Mike have and Carla. They're from the Crooked Creek Soil Conservation, and ha. this doesn't look anything like soil to me. <laughs> looks like you it looks has to do with nature. Has to anything okay. outside? Yeah, that's okay. all cypress. Is there is there a, dog, is there a bird in you? No. Okay. You didn't bring the bird. No. Oh man. You have to draw your own. You have to draw, your <laughs> own <laughs> draw one or draw me in. Draw me in. Draw me in. All right. Now you're selling these, right? Yes, sir. Uh, they're ten dollars a piece. They're and that's not cypress. cedar. No, it's, it's cypress. cypress. And that's like waterproof what is the, forever. I was gonna say, what what is the significance of cypress? Well, cypress has a very very long life expectancy for one thing, and my husband makes them for the <laughs> conservation <laughs> office. Okay. Well, right then. And he's allergic to cedar, mm. to oh. cut to cut it. You no know, cypress so, down Louisiana. And but we have it in yeah, South Arkansas okay. too. Yeah, yeah. We have Louisiana. Right. Uh, we have mm -hmm. yeah. That's a clean out box. Yeah. <laughs> clean out box. Now, don't bluebirds come back to the same? Yes, they come back to the same area. And, I mean, if you've got a bluebird family that starts there, you're going to just increase your bluebird population around your yard or mm -hmm. fields mm -hmm. or whatever. And they, they're, uh, they eat mainly insects. So helpful. They, they are very helpful, whether you have a, a, just a small garden or if you got those fields out there, they're going to eat a lot of insects. Mm -hmm. Well, and your husband has made this very easy to clean out. Yeah. I yeah. mean, like, it's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You know, you clean out their nest, I guess, yes. during the winter. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're looking for a place to nest right now. Mm -hmm. The blue birds. Out. And they're attracted to this. Yes, and they're attracted reason. to yeah. You can paint it if you want to. Or if you want to. Some people there. think oh, they I like should. the rustic yeah. look. Yeah. But it will. Your mother <coughs> liked the rustic look. Weather, <laughs> it will <laughs> weather gray, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and we sell them for $10. Okay. And we, and we mainly do it so reasonably priced to help mm -hmm. the bluebird population. Mm -hmm. You we'll, bet. And I'll bring them to Harrison. I live in Harrison, so I'll bring so them. Mike Brings them. About like yeah. you did cool, my trees, cool. Mike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wasn't my, are, are we still talking about trees? No, no, no trees. Done, no. I do want, no, I I do want to thank you there. for you let us be on yes. your channel in, uh, in uh, Mount Home, uh -huh. and we sold six hundred and, and fifty-four cool. trees. 54 and it was yay. All, it's all because of us. Well, a yes. lot of people said they saw it on TV. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people said they saw it on TV. I appreciate. I appreciate. It. That's good. Up Hopefully, anybody that's out there viewing the trees will be in later this week. Well, that hope so because I've got an order in there. Yes, you do. See, they're all coming in a box, and her and I get to. Take one by and one and put them in Walmart bags. So that's going to take us a while. Oh yeah. boy, keep Flip you it. out of trouble. Well, yeah. if you call me, you won't have to do mine. I'll, okay. I'll bring my own. And now you have a, something else coming up. Yeah. Yes, March the eighth, we have our annual pasture conference. Okay. And it's at the Yaleville Summit School. It's in the cafeteria, and it'll be at eight o'clock. No. And, Six o'clock. Six o'clock. I'm sorry, March eighth. I'm going to be in the evening, not in the morning. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. But at one o'clock, we're going to have a pasture walk where we go to a farm and we'll have displays mm -hmm. on stuff. And in Yaleville, we have a 319 program. It comes, it's federal money. It comes from the 319 Act of the Water Act of the Congress. And if you live in this watershed that we've picked, and we're going to move it, hopefully move it in the different parts of the county, everything flows to Creek Creek, I can cost share on farm on uh, practices, like putting in water systems, cross fencing, water lines for mm -hmm. cattle, stuff like that. So Cody Burroughs, he lives out on 14 South. He's donated his farm. We've helped him put in water lines and water tanks for his cattle. So we're gonna have a pasture walk out there where we just go out there and people don't know anything about it and then come out and see what, how we've helped him and I can cost share mm -hmm. at 40% on that. So that wow. helps farmers out. Okay. You, you know, bet. Good. Of course we'll have some drinks and cookies. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Carla's, gonna, Carla's gonna bake cookies and stuff she said. <laughs> You're not? <laughs> yeah. His mama might. Mama might, but <laughs> Mike's not. <laughs> okay, and this is March 8th. March yes, 8th. sir. I mean, yes, at 1 o'clock. And then at, and then at, and then at <laughs> 6 o'clock, we're going to have the supper at the school. It'll be a roast beef supper. It's invite anybody in, anywhere wants to come. And what we're, what we're kind of working on there, the guys from Little Rock from 319 will be there. But what I've done, I've gone and got a big tire. It's like six foot, mm -hmm. six and a half foot in diameter. I've cut the top out, and it's a way to recycle tires, and you can use it for a water tank. Oh, they hold about three hundred gallons of water. Wow, a tire. Yeah, yeah. you know, like it comes off of a loader. A, oh, you you, you don't you don't, you, you don't cut it this way. You cut no, it in half. You just cut no, a little bit. I just cut the top out of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. it's twenty seven inches tall. Okay, and it holds three hundred something gallons of water. Oh, that's awesome. one way to recycle tires. Mm -hmm. And for like $100, $125, the farmer can get. Mm -hmm. And I can cost share on that. 
Okay. You can get the water lines, like from wells and stuff. And if you want to empty it, you just push it down a hill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it water. rolls. <laughs> well, I went and got it yesterday, and it's empty. It weighs about 700 pounds. I can imagine. That's wow. a, what kind of tire is it? A big, it's big a uh, truck tire? Skitter. Skitter, skitter, skitter tire. tire. Okay. It comes off like a skitter. And you just leave the rim on it? No. Yes. No, there's no, no rim. No rim. It's, you just, it, like it's round, like it's rolling here, you just lay it flat. Okay. You've got the top out where the cattle can drink out of it. Okay. And we run a water line up through the bottom. 300 gallons? Wow. And that's a big tire. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a big tire. And that's not as big as they come. Yeah. Mm. And you can run a water line up through it and put a float on it, and it's an automatic water system. Cool. Now, I, I guess these tires are readily, readily available because they, they can't hardly get rid of I mean, there's some places you can't get well, rid of them. you can locate them. Yeah, mm -hmm. locate you can locate them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Different Where camp. you can make yourself one so much cheaper than buying one, and then you're also recycling. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what it's time. all about now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything mm -hmm. going green mm -hmm. and yes. recycling. So reuse recycling instead of throwing it in the yeah. dumps yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. That's cool. And then we've got a girl coming from the State Plant Research Center in Boonville, Arkansas, and she's coming to talk about switchgrass and native grasses. And native grass. And switchgrass is a very big in um, biofuel. That's mm -hmm. what should be our next because it don't take much to make biofuel out of switchgrass. In a lot of places in this country, people own land, they don't do anything with it. Mm -hmm. You can put switchgrass in there, and it just takes care of itself, and they can use it as a crop, maybe. Mm -hmm. Wow. So hopefully she's very educated in that. she got a degree in that, okay. so she's going to come talk to about Switchgrass, that. it's probably not good for hay or anything, is it? Yes, they do. It can be. Oh, okay. It can get 12 yes. to 14 foot tall. Oh, wow. Okay. You can make hay. So uh, is it not yeah. indigenous to this area? Do you have to bring it in, or do you just have to try to get it to grow? Get it to grow. Get yeah. it to grow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And will it grow on just about any soil? Yes. Yes. It'll so grow it's pretty hardy. Yes. yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. In rocks. That's in what rocks. we need to do. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's not too Good. expensive. Good. So, And there's some cost share programs to help with that to get them established. Yeah. So it's hopefully she can come. But she'll be talking about that at this at yes. at this, yes. at, at yes. night that night. Yes, and hopefully she'll be there that afternoon. Okay. Yeah. And then Switch Joe. Grass. Uh -huh. Okay. And then Joe Massey will be there that night. He's our uh, district conservation style mountain home. He's made these tar waters and the different water systems. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to show people the different water systems that we have in our office, like big concrete tanks. There's tanks you can put behind ponds that I can cost share right. on. We got 300 gallon spring tanks. You know, springs coming out of them. Uh, mm -hmm. Mountains. Mm -hmm. We're, uh, there's a guy putting in one today. He's put in 2,600 feet and put in two of these tanks. They run continually. Wow. And then, mm -hmm. uh, like, ball waters and stuff like that, self waters for livestock mm -hmm. and stuff. So, I hope, you know, hopefully, Very a lot helpful, of people. Very useful. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and especially if we can cost share and get, get people ideas yes. about these tires because yeah. we had people come in yesterday to the office when I was fixing it. What are you doing? Yeah. Fixing a water tank. Well, if people know that. you, they'd be asking that all day long. So you come up with that idea it? on your own? No. 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 You can go to the internet and find it. You can go to the internet. I mean, yeah. People just don't think about it. You think, you know, right. just go. Yeah. Well, that, well, that's why we need you. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, like those you ideas. do the work, and yeah. then you show everybody yeah. how to do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, hopefully people can go yes. do it themselves. Cause, well, I can cut the tire, but I need somebody to get it there. Yeah. I thought the tire was going to be a big thing to cut, and her husband brought a saw, and we just... It's a right reciprocating out. saw or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So we just yeah. cut it right out in hmm. about yeah. 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, instead of going paying six, $700 for a water yeah. tank, you could, for about 100 bucks, a lot of people can come up with yeah. water systems okay. yeah. for livestock and stuff. So, and we'd I mean, like to have a lot of Boone County people come, too, and learn. Yeah. And they don't yeah. have to be yeah. in the water. Yeah, you don't have to be in the water. You can be in Baxter yeah. County, Marion County, okay. or even in Missouri. I mean, we'd yeah. be glad to have we you. welcome anybody. And there's no registration or anything to show up at 6 o'clock, and uh, the, the ladies at the cafeteria are going to uh, cook. It'd be roast beef, salad, mm. apple cobbler, and stuff like that. Mm. And the program will last about two hours. Yeah, okay. And we're going to have a lot so of stuff key, on So the key word here is, is uh, cost sharing. Yes, sir. And education. Yes. And anybody's wanting to find out solutions, they need to contact mm -hmm. you. What, what, how can they contact you? They can call us Crooked Creek Conservation in Yellville. Our number is 449 6356. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't I mean call. you have to be from Yellville or, or no. Mount Home. Oh, no. uh, you uh, you okay. live in this area, so I mean, you, mm -hmm. you deal with all the counties. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, yeah, so give them mm -hmm. a call about yeah. that kind of so stuff. So we'd love for everybody to show up for it and, uh, and uh, maybe we can give them some ideas and okay. stuff like that. But that hope, hopefully Appreciate we can do our job yeah. and get the word out. I hope so. Appreciate right. it. Thank, Thank you all for being Thanks here. Thanks for all the help yeah. you've helped Thank us through the years. Yeah, we appreciate well, it. Well, I, both. I appreciate. Yeah. I I just appreciate that we get the feedback that we're we're helping. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. know, it, it, you could stand yeah. out on the corner and yell all day long, but nobody mm -hmm. hears you. Yeah. But it's it's right. great to hear that. Yeah, we appreciate Thank it. You. Thank we you. Really do. Thank all you. Right. Thank you guys. Up next, we're going to talk with uh, Ross Slavic, Fred Hudson, and Marlene Rowe about the Boone County Historical Museum.
stay with us. <laughs>